today we're going to look at determining the perimeter of a composite figure. And so a composite figure um, is a figure that is formed by combining different shapes. And so as we take a look at the diagram that we have, we have um, a figure in the coordinate plane made up of multiple shapes. Uh, you could see triangles, rectangles, squares, uh, trapezoids, um, but it's made up of multiple different shapes. And so as we find the perimeter, again, perimeter is the distance around the figure. And so that means we want to add up all the sides. Now, as we take a look at our figure, the first thing that we want to keep in mind is what are we counting by on our axes. And so the fact that um, along the x-axis um, I see an interval marking of 16, I can count that there's 8 intervals or 8 um, grid lines to get there, which tells us we're counting by 2's along the x-axis. Along the y-axis, um, I see an interval marking of 4 and two grid lines to get there, so we're also counting by twos along the y-axis. And so as I find the perimeter, um, the horizontal and vertical sides, those are easy to count. Um, we don't actually have to use any formulas to figure out those lengths. However, I do have uh, this distance of CB that's on an angle, and I also have this segment of GH that is also on an angle. And so there I need to use either the distance formula or the Pythagorean theorem to go through and find those lengths. So we're going to start with uh, CB. And so one way to find the length of CB is to form a right triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem. So counting um, the two legs, so CD um, has a length of 6 because there's three um, boxes and so that has a length of 6 and then from D to B I have 1, 2, 3, 4 full boxes and two half boxes so that would be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and then the last half box would be 10 and so to find the length of C B, the, using the uh, Pythagorean theorem, I would have 6 squared plus 10 squared equals C squared. And so that gives me 36 plus 100, and adding those together is 136, and then taking the square root of 136, rounding to the nearest tenth, we see that that length turns out to be 11.7. So the length of CB on our diagram is going to be 11.7. Right. Moving to GH, we can do uh, a similar process, um, making a right triangle. Um, vertically, the leg vertical is two boxes, so that would be two four units. And horizontally, uh, we would have one, two, three full boxes, which would be six, and then a half box to get to G, so that would be a length of seven. And so using the uh, Pythagorean theorem for GH, I would have seven squared plus four squared equals c squared. So we have 49 plus 16, which 49 and 16 turns out to be 65. And then the square root of 65 is 8.06. And so rounding to the nearest tenth, I have a length of 8.1 for gh. So from G to H is 8.1. Right. Another method that you could do, just taking a, a um, little tangent here, um, instead of using the Pythagorean theorem, 
you could also use the, di the distance formula. And I'm going to do that um, just for CB as an example. Uh, you could do the same thing with GH. Uh, but using the distance formula, which is D equals the square root of the quantity x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Um, I can look at my ordered pairs, um, finding the uh, coordinates of a or of c. I'm sorry. Um, we have the point negative seven four, so I'm going to call that x1 y1, and uh, for b. Um, we have the ordered pair 3, negative 2, so I'm going to call that x2 and y2. It doesn't really matter which one is which, as long as you're consistent. And so substituting in, I have the square root. Um, x2 is 3, so 3 minus x1 is negative 7, so 3 minus negative 7 squared, plus y2 is negative 2. So negative 2 minus y1 being 4. So I have negative 2 minus 4 quantity squared. So now going through and simplifying, 3 minus negative 7, that's the same as 3 plus a positive 7. So that's 10. And negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 following order of operations and squaring those next. 10 squared is 100. Negative 6 squared is going to be 36. And then adding together 136, we get a sum of 136, which again, if we square root 136, we have an approximate length of 11.7. So again, this was just another example of how you could find the, um, the length. So now going back and finishing the perimeter, we found our angled sides. And so now going around the rest of the figure from A to B, I can count four boxes. And so that is a length of eight from A to J. I have a half of a box and three full boxes, so that's a length of seven. From J to H, that's nine full boxes, and so I have a length of 18. GH we already found. FG we have uh, two full boxes, two half boxes for a length of six. EF, uh, three full boxes, so that's a length of six. From D to E, one full box, two half boxes, so a length of four. And from D to C, three full boxes, and so we have a length of six. And so as I go through and add all of those lengths together, taking 11.7, 8, 7, 18, 8.1, 6, another six, four, and six. Adding those all together, our perimeter turns out to be approximately 74.8 units. Thank you for listening.